Welcome once again to our video daily devotions, Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Pastor Poppy. Thanks for tuning in. Our Bible reading for today, the introit for the last Sunday in the church year, a combination of Isaiah 35 and Psalm 39. The ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. O Lord, make me to know my end, and what is the measure of my days. Let me know how fleeting I am. Behold, you have made my days a few handbreadths, and my lifetime is as nothing before you. Surely all mankind stands as a mere breath. And now, O Lord, for what do I wait? My hope is in you. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Do not make me the scorn of the fool. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Tomorrow in the divine service, we will celebrate and observe the last Sunday in the church year. Pretty unimpressive title, wouldn't you think? Sometimes in the past, it was the Sunday of the Fulfillment, Christ the King Sunday. But always, no matter what you name it or call it, always there was one eye on the end of the world. One eye keeping us looking forward to that which will happen on the last day. A major theme, a major focus, and yet we don't always like to think about those end times, last day kind of things, do we? No, we don't. Because it means one very stark reality. And that's the stark reality that Psalm 39 teaches us again and again and again. You heard it. We're mortal. We're going to die. Teach us, O Lord, to number our days. We don't like to hear that. We don't like to be reminded of that. Oh, yeah, in theory, in general, we know that all people will one day die. But when it comes to you and me, let's be honest. We're hoping that God will, will make that one great exception. Well, he won't. We pray in the Lord's Prayer, deliver us from evil. Get me out of here. Take me out of this sin-filled world and take me to be with you in paradise forever. When will that happen? Well, it will happen on the last day when Jesus comes back in his power and might and glory or when I die, whichever happens first. And so we need to be reminded so we don't get too attached to the things of this world. We need to be reminded that we are strangers here. Heaven is our home. O Lord, make me to know my end. And what is the measure of my days? Let me know how fleeting I am. Behold, you have made my days a few handbreadths, and my lifetime is as nothing before you. Surely all mankind stands as a mere breath. My friends, we are mortal. All of mankind is mortal. All people, including you and me, will one day die. And there is absolutely nothing that we can do about it. 
We can't stop it. We can't prevent it. We can't even slow it down. No. None of us can add even a single second to the days appointed by God for each one of us. And now, Lord, for what do I wait? My hope is in you. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Do not make me the scorn of the fool. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. We know better. The one true God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit has revealed himself to us in his holy word. God takes on flesh and blood and makes his dwelling among us. He lives, he dies, he rises from the dead for you and for me and for the life of the world. Forgiveness full and free is poured out in the waters of holy baptism, spoken into our ears in the holy absolution, put in our mouth in the holy supper. My friends, we have a living hope because we have a living Savior, Jesus Christ. We have nothing to fear, not even death itself, because Jesus has overcome sin, death, and the grave. He has robed us with his robe of righteousness. And he promises that we are in his hands and that nothing or no one can snatch us out. My friends, the end of the world is coming. The end of you and me is coming. Which will happen first? We don't know. And it doesn't matter. Because our hope is in the living God who says, My son, my daughter, fear not! Your sins are forgiven. Thanks be to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen.